crowd behind him tonight. Here's your tail of the tape. The American James Vick, 15th in the world, is 32. The Kiwi Dan Hooker is 29. Vick, the taller man by three inches. But for the first time in a long time, someone who can match him in terms of the reach. Vick just with a one-inch advantage. Bruce Buffer with the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 18 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, Dan the Hangman Hooker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record, 13 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, James, the Texas Cushioner, Ben! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Final assignment of the night for Kerry Hatley, and it is a good one at 155 pounds. Dan the Hangman Hooker, minus 140 betting favorite here tonight against a man in James Vick, who is known for placing a wager or two. Certainly has some action on himself tonight in that plus 110 right, range. Man, this is where you are, your hard work pays off. Ready? Ready? Let's go to work. Come on. The executioner James Vick out of Fort Worth is in black. Dan Hooker is in gray. I love this because neither of these guys have faced anybody as tall as one another in this in this octagon yet. So to see how they mix it up would be interesting. The strikes all change when you got someone just as tall as you. Vic was in a co-main event against Paul Felder in February and had that calf compromised in round one. And Dan Hooker attacks it early tonight. And he checks the first one. I think he learned something. <laughs> Those calf kicks hurt. You don't prepare. It was hard for me to see if he checked it. I will take your word for it. Hooker's looking for it early. He knows. There it is. Right. Some weight cuts have been easier for James Vick than others, but he has never missed weight, and this one was among the easier. Hooker with a nice flurry there. And I like to see Vic go first, because when he sits and waits for punches, like I said, his hands don't really stay glued to his face, and sometimes you get around his defense. So being first can usually stop all that. Keep Hooker on his heels, and be first if you're if you're Vic. Oh, nice one-two from Dan Hooker. And you see that Vic's hands kind of go out and reach. He's looking to catch your hands. If his hands can stay glued a little bit. Oh, oh. There we go. When he goes first, it does damage. That's where Vic is so effective. Right. And in these front choke scenarios, exactly. Hooker took a seven-month break in terms of active competition after that Barboza fight. Says his coaches and his team kind of saved him from his from himself. Nice vision there by Hooker to duck underneath that Vic offering. Ooh. Vic doing a great job keeping that lake safe in this matchup. Last fight didn't do so well at that. Good adjustment. It has been a huge 12 months for City Kickboxing and Eugene Behrman. Israel Adesanya emerging to win a world championship. Of course, that. Oh! Big knockout for Dan Hooker picks out! That's it. The And after nine consecutive decisions to open this card in San Antonio, Dan, the hangman hooker, closes the show. Dolly, I love you. Wow. Vic goes out to parry the hands. He's going to reach here. You see him reaching for the hands and throwing a punch at the same time. He just gets caught in the mix. You got to keep your hands glued to your chin or move your head a lot. Here we see again. He's looking for a counter hook. Gets caught with his own hook by Hooker. Follows it up, gets the finish. 
I mean, just beautiful timing by Hooker, but really, that's just a trade-off. James Vick can only look up at the referee, but what a response for Dan Hooker, who vaults right back into lightweight contention. We'll talk to Dan Hooker after this as we continue live from San Antonio. The UFC will be on pay-per-view next Saturday. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada plays host to UFC 240. Max Holloway and Frankie Edgar finally set to class for the Undisputed Featherweight Championship. July 27th, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. You can order UFC 240 through ESPN+. Plus. All right, now to make this one official, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kerry Hatley has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by knockout, Dan the Hangman Hooker. All right, here he is, lightweight contender Dan Hooker. You've had a lot of big moments over the last 18 months or so, but man, that had to feel pretty good after seven months away. Your thoughts on an epic knockout here tonight against a very talented James Vick. Respect to James Vick. I know he's a hometown boy. I trained the hardest I've ever trained in my life for this fight. Because I know you don't mess with Texas, so I came here prepared. We're going to take a look back at the finish. Obviously, that left hook that dropped him and some timely follow-up shots to get him out of there. But you obviously put in a hard seven months and it paid dividends tonight. Yeah, just do what my coaches say and, and it turns out the results... Thank you, San Antonio. Uh, you've been amazing. I felt very welcome, even though I'm uh, the enemy in this territory. I felt very welcome in San Antonio. It's probably my favorite city in uh, America so far, so thank you very much. Real quick before we let you go, this was the signature win that I think you were looking for to take out a ranked guy like that. How soon is Eugene going to let you spin this one forward and get back in here? October 5th, my brother Israel Desanya. Is fighting to unify the world title, and I need to be on that card. I demand to be on that card. So October 5th, any of you lightweights want to man up and meet me here, let's go. Way to state your case. Congratulations. San Antonio, your winner, Dan the Hangman Hooker. <laughs> Quick second to see Dan, uh, Dan Hooker's work. He stepped through. With an overhand left right hand he switches to southpaw overhand left you see his right foot comes forward and that's the shift that we're seeing in mixed martial arts these days step right hand fake the right hand and come over the top with an overhand left hook it's a mixture of a left hook switching stance to, to cover distance and then switching it to an overhand left from the southpaw